Without further ado, I want to introduce a very special guest, Nigel Farage. We call him the Brexit guy. He has a special relationship with Donald Trump and he's our link across the pond. Nigel, um, what, can you bring it down to earth for us? Because I think we've missed something. Why is it that the Brits left Europe? Why is it that in America we voted for Donald Trump? The tea leaf readers got it completely wrong, the pollsters were wrong. What's going on that we haven't figured out yet? Well, it's called a political revolution, and 2016 was the beginning of that revolution, and believe me, uh, it is not going to go away. And it's because people have had enough of politically correct politics that doesn't believe in anything, doesn't say anything, and frankly is there to support big business uh, against the interests of ordinary people. And when you add to that, in, a, in the case of our country, open door immigration and the risks of terrorism, are you surprised that people wanted change? Any second thoughts in Britain about Brexit? I mean, is, have, have some Brits got oh, buyer's quite, remorse? No, no, no. no? No quite, no, quite the opposite. Actually, the opinion polls now show that a significant number of people voted Remain because the, because the Chancellor told them their house price would collapse. That hasn't happened. Um, and you know something? There are also some people out there who are genuine Democrats who respect the vote and say, let's get on with it. Unlike the people protesting in Fifth Avenue uh, who can't gr grow up to the fact that Trump is now the US president. Now, the Speaker of the British House of Commons says that uh, Donald Trump should not be invited to speak to the House of Commons, to Britain's Parliament. Listen to this for a moment, Nigel. As far as this place is concerned, I feel very strongly that our opposition to racism and to sexism and our support for equality before the law and an independent judiciary are hugely important considerations in the House of Commons. I am even more strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster.